Meet Arnold. And he just loves ordering crap from online stores. Why do you need this stuff, Arnie? You want to make a real-life version of Minecraft. Easy schmeasy. Did you know that Minecraft is the second best-selling game in the world after Tetris? And the very first version was created in just six days. So, which is better? Minecraft or real life? It'd probably be cool if, when life seemed too difficult, you could choose an easier mode. Here, you need fear, neither scary stuff nor hunger. But it's really not that interesting. Let's choose survival mode. Now we have to act like in real life. Find food, build a house, defend yourself, and gain experience. Of course, it's much easier to do it in the game. With just one pickaxe, you can cut down a tree that will hang in the air, oh. and you can get stoned by just breaking it for a few seconds. Wow. A day here lasts just 20 minutes, and even your pitiful, pixelated face can get someone's ah. attention. You can eat as much fast food as you want, and you won't get fat. That's a plus. You'll always be comfortable any time of the year, and you don't even have to buy clothes. And you can use a cactus in your house instead of a trash can. It can make any object disappear. If you're bored, you can rename a sheep, and it will shimmer in different colors. And yes, here, you can just meet a sheep on the street. Don't forget, it's Minecraft. Time to go home. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's easy to get your house stolen or destroyed. Looks like game over. Welcome back to reality, Arnie, old buddy, old pal. Look, no one destroyed your house. But while you were playing, you did get robbed. Bye bye, Arnold. We're holding an Among Us style party. It's a popular game with over 500 million players and more than any other game in history. With 97% of players playing the free version on mobile devices, but most of the revenue is generated from the paid PC version. Of course, we're playing the free version. If it's free, I'll play as well. And I chose Brown for a reason, because he's kicked out less than 65% of the time. In more than 90% of votes, people choose to kick out black, and it's the exact color you have, Arnold. Let the games begin. The most important thing is to act quickly, because you can be killed at any time. And here's the first murder. Don't worry, we have a lot of detectives here. They'll immediately figure out that you're not the imposter. Oops. I'm pretty sure you were thrown under the bus here, Arnold. It's time to get the hell out of here before you're chucked out into space. You need to complete tasks in the game to make it clear to the rest of the players that you're not the imposter. Whoops. This room is already occupied. Let's not disturb this couple. There's a new task. You need to extinguish the fire in the electrical room. Looks like it worked. They believe you. Come on, help out this player. I think I saw a fire extinguisher. Arnold, someone is seriously trying to frame you. Moreover, according to statistics, the electrical and admin rooms are the most dangerous places. If you're actually an imposter, you need to blow up the engine and win the game. It's not working. That's cool, Arnold. So you aren't an imposter. Congratulations. The lucky first tourist to win a free trip to the moon is ticket holder number 2871. And here's the lucky ducky himself. Meet Arnold. The average distance from Earth to the moon is 384,467 kilometers, and every year the moon moves three and a half centimeters further away. In the entire history of humanity so far, only 12 people have stepped on the surface of the moon. You will be the 13th. I agree, it's not the luckiest number, but just imagine, there'll be no one on the moon except for you. True, this ain't Miami. The temperature is minus 173 degrees Celsius. And everywhere you go, there's radiation 200 times higher than on Earth. So you can't do it without a spacesuit. But in the meantime, as a tourist, you can check into the hotel. Although construction isn't slated until 2025. Let's go to the far side of the moon. Especially because there's a bunch of cool equipment left there by astronauts. Arnold, jump into the lunar rover, start the engine, and drive! 
Believe it or not, there are a few lunar seas. Only, they're not filled with water, but solidified lava. Arnold, wrong pedal! Hit the brake! Congratulations, Arnold. You just smashed into the U-22 Chinese lunar rover, and you damaged your spacesuit. Oh, no. Houston, we have a problem. Don't worry, Arnold. Help is on the way. Wait, what's that? A dating app? That's smart. Your head fits perfectly on this jacked up body. <gasps> Lucky you. <gasps> but now, in order to go on a date, you have to spend 18 hours and 45 minutes on a plane. Because this is the longest flight in the world. Huh? And you screwed up again. <sighs> Now you have to complete three tasks to meet your chosen one. Or just survive. Let's see what your advantages are. Small brain, feeble hands, fast food lover. Everything is like in real life. Now choose your skin. You can't go on a date empty-handed. Find something, Arnie. Hmm, the biggest flower in the world. Phew, it stinks like rotten meat. If your girlfriend was a fly, she'd appreciate the fragrance. These cute creatures simply want to give you malaria, anthrax, or diarrhea. Nothing crazy. What, they did already? There aren't many public toilets in the jungle, but instead you can do it like our ancestors did. <gasps> this is a scavenger, Arnie. They pick up everything that stinks. It'd be better if you washed in the morning. Get on the vines. They can handle even an elephant. Hmm. After one and a half hours, the gastric juice of the python will completely digest your bones. You need a knife to cut the belly. That would have saved you on a date with a woman, but not with a python. I caught a python. Let's see what's inside it. Only I can be the survival expert here. Get out! Get yourself in order. You have a date soon, and you're covered in mucus and slime. You survived and didn't even lose a single finger. Jumanji! And finally, you've got yourself a real girl. Or not. I didn't know you were into football. You don't stop surprising me. Eh, the joy was short-lived. Be careful, or do you actually like dead pixels on your TV screen? What in the monkey butt are you up to? Well, Arnold, that's definitely in character for you. Now that's a quantum leap. Apparently the results of a very important match depends on you, and you are now football star Ronaldo. No, it's a common mistake. This is Ronaldo, a Brazilian player, and you're the holder of five golden balls, Cristiano Ronaldo, the Portuguese player. It's time to strike. Well, what did I expect with your physical form? Now, probably you should run away from all of the furious fans. Fortunately, you can hide from the millions of angry fans in your huge house, Arnaldo. You're in the servant's house, dumbass. Your magnificent mansion is a little further up the road. Such a huge house must have servants. In addition, there's a gym, a swimming pool, a billiard room, a spa, and two secret entrances that guarantee that no journalist will ever see you. Arnaldo, where are you? Oh, I know. Can you imagine that Ronaldo's body is only 7% body fat, though he's 35 years old? According to his biological readings, he has the health and body of a 23-year-old. 
Cristiano consumes about 3,000 calories a day, which he breaks up into six smaller meals. I know you do this too, but you don't move. At all. Did you really think everything was going to be so easy? Cristiano has the most popular Instagram on earth, with almost 250 million subscribers, which is like 34% of Europe's population, or 76% of the USA's. And since they can't get to you in the real world, they're going to get you through the internet. Did you somehow manage to screw this up as well? Looks like it's time to run away from your own house, dipwad. Yes, this is your garage. McLaren Senna, Rolls-Royce Phantom, Bugatti Chiron and Veyron, and a Ferrari 599 worth $7 million. Just don't slip on your saliva. Or I guess it can help you sail aboard your plush, luxury, $6 million, 27-meter yacht. Well, looks like you found a way to dodge the bullet once again. Arnold, watch out! The situation's not looking very good, Arnold. Wow, looks like you got lucky again, buddy. Hmm. The world of cosplay has its own stars. This girl is Inako. She has one and a half million followers on her Instagram, and she earns $32 an hour. That's $278,000 a year. Wait, where did she go? Over there! Arnold, don't let her get away! Wow, this is Seiko Shidori, former captain of the Sky Guard. As a child, he was admitted to the Heaven Corps, where he defended his country from the Shingami, vampires, pirates, and girls und Panzer. When all his friends turned away from him, he was left alone with the darkness inside of him. Arnold, you are now in the most popular anime genre, Shonen. Shonen is a story about a hero that starts out at the bottom, then makes his way to the top, finally defeating his main opponent. You have to train hard to get stronger and understand his philosophy. Forward is the only way. Meet anime high school culture, an important period in the life of any anime teenager. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, in anime, Every girl is perfect. For some men, this overestimates the requirement for their significant other. And often enough, this rivalry is won by the wife, the drawn wife. Arnold, it seems like you were born to be an anime. A utopia like this can only be prevented by Gundams from the mecha and kaiju genres. To create an anime, you first have to draw a manga. Manga is pretty much just like a comic book, only you read it backwards. In Japan, they use more paper to print manga than for toilet paper. Anime has grown from cheap animation into an entire thriving industry. By the way, those two girls are your stepsisters. Don't worry, it's okay in the etchy genre. There he is, and you are prepared for this battle. Release your Bankai, and don't waste your Furioku. Hajime, harness the power of the founding Titan, control your Reiatsu. Seiko Shidori is weak. Only darkness is left at his disposal, and you have the light given to you by friendship. Remember what this is all for, and don't let anyone knock you off your feet! Welcome to the year 2100. This girl has contact lenses that connect to the internet. She can look up any information about you in just a few seconds. Here you will die as a virgin. Get inside. This space elevator will lift you up to an altitude of 35,000 kilometers above sea level, straight to a huge ring that turns the energy of the Earth's rotation into electricity. To your right is a human body part shop. Let's go inside and look for a replacement for your unfortunate finger. This doctor can recreate an entire organism from only the genome. So all the zoos here are teeming with dinosaurs, dodo birds, and even Neanderthals. You want a snack? 3D printers print food from artificial animal cells, synthesize flour and minerals, and it tastes better than food from 2019. What a wonderful world! 
Yeah, looks like everything's getting weird and buggy. <laughs> Distinguishing virtual reality from reality is becoming more and more difficult every day. Ooh, deja vu. Calm down, you paranoid pinhead. Stray animals often break into houses to find food. Or maybe the world around you is a simulation. Relax, buddy, it's an optical illusion. If you change your viewing angle, everything falls into place. But after all, truth be told, everything you see really is just a figment of your brain's imagination. Light entering your retina is converted into an impulse that transmits information to the visual image processing system. From there, the signal goes to your brain and you see what you see. And when, woo, woo, what a beauty. Hmm, another glitch or a consequence of popular trends in mass markets. Such synchronicity can make you think you're losing your mind. Yes, Arnold, you're right, this definitely needs to be recorded. But take your phone out of your pocket slowly and carefully, buddy. Or the police might think that you're reaching for a weapon. This is how the illusion works. The reticular formation in your brainstem becomes excited. Hey, where are you going, you coward? Arnold, who's this? No, 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 don't even think about it. This is not the Matrix. That's a bad idea, Arnold. Almost as bad as making a sequel to the legendary trilogy. Meet Arnold is a hallucination, and the effects are now 300 times stronger. And Arnold's brain turns into goo. In fact, just like him, this requires serious medical intervention. What the heck? Am I, am I glitching now too? Arnold! Arnold! Are you okay? Arnold, you were seriously injured. So the doctors gave you some upgrades. Almost as good as new. But there is a problem. Now we need a soldier without implants and you need to travel back in time and find him. And here's your volunteer. Wait, Arnold, he doesn't need your clothes, he needs your help. That's why you're going to the year 2050. Oh dear, that's not the bright future people are thinking about. Indeed, by 2050, the Earth is suffering from global warming. The planet's population has grown to over 10 billion people. This overpopulation has caused a shortage of fresh water. Can you imagine? The planet is on the brink of destruction and they're fighting over Pepsi. All right, back to our mission. In 2050, everyone has cybernetic implants. And since enemy drones can detect implants at a distance of 10 kilometers, you, Arnold, are the most undetectable and invulnerable person in 2050. You are the one who will help change the course of the war. Soldiers assemble. And so, Arnold, the enemy has been spotted in the north, but the way is blocked by electromagnetic guns. Instead of projectiles, they fire electrical impulses, and the impulse speed exceeds 7,000 kilometers an hour. We have to find shelter. Quick, go down into the subway. You escape the guns, Arnold, but there are other problems now. Drones detected by scanners. And don't worry, Arnold, remember, these drones won't even notice you. You just need to rush past them and turn off the power. Well done, Arnold. The future sure wasn't ready for the likes of you. Keep going, buddy. You're almost there. It's time to get to the surface. Arnold, there are a lot of enemies around. Get into the exosuit. With it, you can become a super soldier and travel long distances without getting tired. And all physical activity becomes 20 times easier than it was before. You're unstoppable now, Arnold. Now you just need to figure out the controls. Huh? Arnold, no! You just killed yourself from the future. Okay, well, no time to grieve. Your enemies are coming. You have a flamethrower. Use it. Oh, yeah. No one ever thought that one day this would happen in Hollywood. <laughs> Arnold, look out! A rocket! Mother of God, it's a dang dinosaur! Oh, Arnold, you scared me! 
I see you decided to visit the Paleo History Museum. It's really cool here. Even Orochimaru from Naruto is here. I heard he knows secrets of resurrection. He can bring dead things back to life. What the heck? No. He's using it on the dinosaurs. Run, you dang fool. Dinosaurs are very dangerous. Whether it's herbivores, carnivores, or even those radical dinosaurs, they're insanely angry. And you would be too if you hadn't eaten in 66 million years. Furthermore, the dinosaurs are getting even angrier now that they see what happened to their descendants over the course of evolution. All the world's leaders have declared martial law. Alas, very little is really known about the true behavior of dinosaurs. It seems the best solution they've come up with is to hire a rabid turkey specialist. Ye attack! Dinosaurs reigned on Earth for 160 million years. But the fall of a meteorite changed the course of evolution and allowed for the development of our ancestors' mammals. Now, only the strongest will survive. But what in tarnation's going on now? Wait. I think I get it. Over the last 66 million years, the Earth's climate has gotten colder and the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has changed. It looks like dinosaurs can't live here anymore and are gonna die out once again. Hmm, what to do? In theory, we could build a Jurassic Park. We'll feed them and artificially maintain the climate. This place could be the most profitable tourist spot in the world. And we'll also be a global supplier of eggs and manure, dino poop. But then again, an ordinary dinosaur eats a ton of grass a day or more than 100 kilograms of meat. More than likely, the dinosaurs will eat all the fauna in the park and then probably start eating each other until they die out again. No matter how you slice it, the dinosaurs just aren't going to be able to live in our time. Do you really want to save them, Arnie? The only option is to send the dinosaurs back to the past, to their perfect world. Time to say goodbye, Arnie. At least there, you know they're going to be better off. Sorry, but you can't escape. Even at an altitude of 5,000 meters, you still have to work on your YouTube channel. Where are you flying to? At least check the map. Ooh, looks like you flew right into the Bermuda Triangle. According to rumors, planes and ships often disappear here. Arnold, where did your jet wings and clothes go? Seems like the rumors are true and you're about to disappear. Science doesn't recognize the strange things taking place in the Bermuda Triangle. However, there are several non-scientific theories. According to one of them, everything that disappears here ends up in a parallel universe. Look, everything's a little different here. You look strange even to this dog. As you can see, your house has also changed a lot. I advise you to be careful there. Meet Arnold. This is Arnold, although from a parallel universe. He's much more successful than you and even sports a stylish mustache. And it looks like he doesn't like you at all. At the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle is the mythical city of Atlantis. Don't ask, because I have no idea why the ancient Atlanteans needed all these planes and ships. But ancient customs and traditions are harsh. Someone like you will be immediately turned into a slave. Or if you can't handle it, you'll be turned into fuel for steamboats. Careful, Arnold, new vehicles are arriving. There is another theory. Everything that happens in the Bermuda Triangle is due to aliens. And perhaps they're taking vehicles to study human technology or putting it in a museum. Just look at how much stuff they have in their exhibits. Since aliens are poorly versed in terrestrial life forms, you were placed with mushrooms. Don't be offended, Arnold. It could be because of your haircut. You won't be bored for long. 
They say aliens abduct people for a different purpose. You must get pregnant and carry their alien baby. Sorry, Arnold, but aliens are also bad at gender. Did you finally wake up? It seems that at this altitude, you passed out from a lack of oxygen and had some crazy dreams. And this blackbird mistook you for a rival. As I said, from a scientific point of view, nothing unusual happens in the Bermuda Triangle. Calm down, Arnold. No planes, ships, or people disappear here. Provided, of course, that their jet wings don't run out of fuel. This little piggy is a little smarter than Arnold. And no, not because it has a Neuralink chip in its brain, but because she came here by bus, unlike our red-headed fool who parked his car with the Mafia for $50 an hour. At this conference, Elon Musk will demonstrate the process of installing an advanced microchip into the brain of these cute little monkeys and in the near future into the brain of a person. Arnold, stop teasing the primates with your keys. See, great. Well, you had it coming, buddy. I don't understand how Elon could have invited such a doofus to his conference. From a scientific point of view, Neuralink is a fairly simple device. It's a set of electrodes that transmit electrical impulses from neurons in the brain to a computer. But from a technical point of view, it's an astonishingly complex device. Imagine that the brain is a big ball of extraordinarily tangled wires, and you need to carefully connect to it without damaging anything. Arnold, run! It's time to pay for parking or a tow truck is gonna take your car. We need to get the keys from the chimpanzees as soon as possible. Who, with parking prices like these, you're gonna have to live on dollar store ramen till the end of the month. Get in the monkey suit. You'll have better luck this way, trust me. I know it smells like butt cheese, but it's only for five minutes. One more time, Arnold, you can do it. Hey, dudes, where are you taking Arnold? Only I'm allowed to experiment on him. Elon, please be gentle with Arnold. But really, who am I talking to? I'm just a voice in the head of this dumbass. Arnold's brain is almost the same size as that of a primate, and this version of the chip will suit him perfectly. Thanks to Neuralink and Wi-Fi, Arnold can now communicate with other owners of this device via the power of thought. He also benefits from a tremendous increase in the speed of interaction with the internet. Arnold, come on, concentrate. You can do it. Download Monkey Sign Language from the internet. I never doubted that you'd succeed, Arnold but I didn't think you'd drag it out for a whole day. I thought you were so stupid that even the Neuralink chip couldn't help you. But you just forgot to turn it on, you moron. <laughs> Seems like you played for a little too long today, Arnie. The only sensible solution is to go to bed. Good night, Arnold. Spending the whole day playing video games won't go unnoticed. After such excitement, something terrible can happen. For example, sleep paralysis. REM sleep is a state in which the body is immobilized. With sleep paralysis, your brain wakes up, but your muscles stay frozen. So you can see and hear, but you can't move. During these moments, hallucinations start to occur, and it feels like a demon is sitting on you. But this isn't for long. What's wrong, Arnie? Are you afraid to sleep in the dark? About 10% of people on Earth suffer from nyctophobia, the fear of darkness. Scientists believe that this trait is genetically inherited. Our ancestors were afraid of being eaten by nocturnal predators, and so our imagination paints the most terrible pictures in the dark. Ooh, it looks like there's someone behind that window. Ha! Huh. In the world ranking of candy-ass scary
Dirty Pants, you Arnold, get first place. All fear is formed in the amygdala of the brain. A feeling of fear is formed in this little tiny one and a half centimeter sack. There were actual cases when people's amygdala was destroyed due to a disease called Erbach White. This permanently disables the fear response. But this most definitely doesn't apply to you, Arnold. You're afraid of everything, even your own shadow. Okay, okay, I'll turn on the light, just so you know that nobody's here. But sleeping with the lights on is a bad idea, too. It suppresses the amount of melatonin produced during sleep, which can lead to excess weight. Therefore, the choice is obvious. In order not to become an overweight, yellow-bellied poltroon, you need to sleep in the dark. Yeah, falling asleep when it feels like someone else is in the room is not an easy task. Maybe it's just your imagination. Ugh.